वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर डैश ट्वेंटी एट सो स्टेटमेंट इज बोन मटीरियल हैज ए स्ट्रेस ट्रेन डाइग्राम दैट कैन बी डिफाइंड बाई रिलेशन सिगमा इज इक्वल टू ई इंटू एप्सलान डिवाइड बाई वन प्लस के इंटू ई एप्सलान वेयर के एंड ई आर कॉन्स्टेंट डिटरमाइन द कंप्रेशन विद इन द लेंथ एल ऑफ द बोन वेयर इट इज इज्यूम दैट क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया ऑफ द बोन इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द बोन दैट इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाई लोड पी and this is in compression the length of this bo bone is l and the cross sectional area is constant that is given and the stress strain relation is given as that so due to this load there will be a compression or change in length so you have to find that change in length of the bone so let's start with the solution so basically as we know that stress which is represented as sigma and that sigma is equal to load per unit area or force per unit area and we also know that strain which is represented by epsilon is equal to change in length clear divided by original length n clear so this is the change in length divided by original length or you can also represent a change in length divided by original length l so what if we take a small length l in the direction of uh, this is let small length dx so due to this load what will be the change in this dx which is represented as del x so epsilon is equal to del x change in length divided by original length so initially we assume that the original length is dx so due to load change in length will be equal to del x so strain will be equal to change in length divided by original length dx now we have been given it is given that stress strain relation which is sigma is equal to e into epsilon divided by 1 plus k into e times epsilon this is given so what we will do is that we will put this sigma is equal to p by a over here so we will be having p by a is equal to e into now this epsilon is equal to del x over dx divided by 1 plus k into e and del x divided by dx so we have only put the value of sigma and del x in this equation that this is equation number 1 clear so what we will do is that we will get p by a is equal to i will write it again so that you should not confuse del x over dx divided by 1 plus k into e in del x over dx okay now you have to multiply this term on both sides so when you multiply it you will get p by a into 1 plus k into e into del x over dx and we will left with e into del x over dx on the right side now if you multiply p by a into with 1 so we will get p by a plus p into k into e divided by a into del x over dx is equal to e into del x over dx what we will do is that you will leave this p by a on the left side so p by a will be equal to e into del x over dx minus 
p k into e divided by a into del x over dx now you you can see that del x over dx is common in this both term so what we will do is that we will take del x over dx as common so we will be having e minus p k into e divided by a okay now that is equal to p divided by a so what we have we will we are interested to find del x because that is change in length so p by a into dx divided by e minus p k e over a is equal to this change in length which is equal to del x so if you integrate it on both sides integrate over the length integrate on both sides so we will get del x and integration from 0 to l will be equal to integration from 0 to l p into dx divided by a into a into e minus p k e over a so you can see that this term is this term will give you this term will give you total change in the length which is equal to delta and we will be having p divided by a into e minus p k e over a into integral of 0 to l into dx which will this term will give you integral of 0 to l into dx will give you total length clear so we will get del is equal to p into l divided by a into e minus p k into e divided by a if you further simplify it you will get change in length is equal to p into l divide by a into e minus p k into e okay further if we simplify it p into l you can see is common in between these two so you can take e l out so it will be equal to a minus p k so finally we have find out the total change in length due to this load p is equal to p l divided by e into a minus p k and that is the answer and that was all about this problem 4-28 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then i will request them to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section also kindly provide me your feedback about my videos whether you are getting it or not thank you